Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. This is immunology series and we are talking about different interleukins in this particular video. Major interleukins of our immune system, uh, the functions of the interleukins, the roles of the interleukins and clinical relevance of those interleukins. This video is going to be little lengthier but the thing is there are plenty of different interleukins are out there. Uh, there are different names and this chapter may sound a little boring but I'll try to make it as much interesting as I can because you need to know some interleukins in details because in the exams the questions will be from interleukins. So without any further delay let's start with the very first question what are interleukins? Interleukins are cytokines primarily produced by leukocytes or white blood cells of our body. So white blood cells like macrophage, granulocyte, lymphocyte, mast cell, fibroblast, they all they, they are going to produce these cytokines. Chemical factors, okay, they are going to cause the immune system to get modified, to get regulated, to get activated or deregulated. All these things will be done by the cytokines. And some part of the cytokines are known as chemokines that also helps in the process of cellular migration, okay. So uh, now let's see the, the role, they, they regulate the immunity, they regulate inflammation, hematopoiesis that is the growth of the blood cells as well as the cell communication. They play roles in innate as well as adaptive immune responses in our body. Starting with the very first one is the interleukin 1 family, interleukin 1 alpha and interleukin 1 beta produced by macrophages and dendritic cell. They are going to produce interleukin 1 alpha, interleukin 1 beta. They promote inflammation, cause fever and endothelial activation, okay. Next is interleukin 18, enhances interferon gamma production in T helper 1 cells and natural killer cells. So you can see the interleukin 1 family is connected with four different types of cells. It is connected to macrophage, it is connected to dendritic cell, it is connected to T lymphocytes function, the T helper 1's function and natural killer cells function as well. So one family of interleukin that is interleukin 1 is connected to four different types of cells in our immune system. The next one uh, so and this interleukin 18 also supports cell mediated immunity because obviously if it is a link to natural killer cells linked to dendritic cell and macrophage we know natural killer cells and macrophage are part of our cell mediated immunity and in the innate mode of immunity so they make a real important contribution to the cell mediated immunity. The next one the next category of interleukin is interleukin 2 and interleukin 4. Interleukin 2 produced by activated T cells. Yes, stimulate T cell proliferation and natural killer cell activity. So T cell proliferation and natural killer cell activity is stimulated by interleukin 2 produced by the T cell it itself. Activated T cell, not the naive T cell. The activated T cell release interleukin 2. While interleukin 4 produced by T helper 2 cells and mast cells. Mast cells are the cells that cause allergy in our body filled with granules. They promote T helper 2 cell differentiation and B cell IgE switching. That is generally the B cell produce one particular type of B cell receptor, one particular fixed antibody. But then upon releasing of the interleukin 4, these B cells start to switch from the existing antibody that is IgM in this case into the IgG and IgG is an antibody responsible for the allergic reactions okay. Next the third category of interleukins we are going to talk about is interleukin 5 and interleukin 6. Interleukin 5 stimulates eosinophil growth and survival and promotes IgA production. IgA is a type of antibody which is generally found in the secretions of the body like tear and saliva. So that IgA production is something triggered by interleukin 5 and stimulates eosinophils growth. Well IL-6 or interleukin 6 induces acute phase responses stimulates B cell differentiator uh, differentiation from the B cell to become mem uh, memory cells and also B cell become plasma cell. Plasma cells start producing antibodies also known as B cell receptor and uh, some of the B cell remain as memory cells from this plasma cells for the future reference. So that is done by interleukin 6. Interleukin 5 related to the stimulation of eosinophils. That's the difference. And interleukin 6 also promotes T helper 17, TH17 differentiation as well. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट इज रेगुलेशन एंड रेगुलेटरी एंड प्रो इंफ्लेमेटरी इंटरल्यूकिन अराउंड देयर आई एल टेन सो दिस दिस इन्फ्लेम दिस इंटरल्यूकिन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्लाइड दे आर नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन एनी काइंड ऑफ एक्टिवेशन प्रोसेस दे आर नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन द इम्यून एक्टिवेशन और एलर्जिक एक्टिवेशन दे आर इनहिबिटरी दे हैव इनहिबिटरी इफेक्ट ओके सो द इनहिबिटरी इफेक्ट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई इंटरल्यूकिन टेन एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी साइटोकाइन दैट इज प्रोड्यूस बाई टी रेक सो रेगुलेटरी टी सेल्स suppress the pro inflammatory cytokines and antigen uh, presentation as well they are suppressed by the pro inflammatory cytokines next is interleukin 12 produced by macrophages and dendritic cells okay interleukin 12 produced by macrophages and dendritic cells and they are always involved in the process of cell cell communication and contact so we have a regulatory and we have pro inflammatory interleukins pro inflammatory interleukins that is il10 uh that is produced by macrophage and dendritic cell that is actually involved in the activation of immune system means activation of multiple immune uh, cells while interleukin 10 is acting as a inhibitor of the inflammatory response okay so it is sometimes known as the anti inflammatory cytokine as well anti inflammatory means they are regulatory cytokines or anti inflammatory cytokines they don't generally want to cause inflammation that is their job what is kind of inhibition IL10 remember that okay IL12 promotes T helper 1 differentiation and interferon gamma production which in turn causes the activation of further immune system cells now we have interleukin 17 and interleukin 23 interleukin 17 produced by T helper 17 TH17 cells recruits neutrophils and promotes inflammation and inflammatory response neutrophils are the primary defenders they generally engulf any foreign pathogen Uh, they destroy them with the help of reactive oxygen species reactive nitrogen species and also they can uh, phagocyte uh, they they have a phagocytosis uh, machinery to uh, eat those bacteria or pathogen interleukin 23 on the other hand promotes th17 cell survival and expansion linked to chronic inflammation and autoimmune diseases so people with chronic inflammatory response on chronic infl inflammation and inflammatory disease like uh inflammatory bowel disease that is crohn's disease and also in cases of rheumatoid arthritis which is a part of autoimmune disorders which supposed to have chronic inflammation too uh is where the il23 is mostly active okay now function of interleukins uh innate immunity interleukin 1 interleukin 6 interleukin 8 promotes inflammation they are part of inflammatory or pro inflammatory cytokine uh, cytokines yeah the adaptive immunity interleukin 2 drives the t cell proliferation and that uh, further interleukin 4 and interleukin 13 support antibody production by stimulating the b cells regulation interleukin 10 and tgf transforming growth factor beta maintain tolerance and if il10 is in place that means it is anti inflammatory cytokines it will not allow in immune system to gets further activated tissue repair interleukin 22 promotes epithelial repair and antimicrobial defense against our immune system what are the clinical uh, clinical relevance of interleukins therapeutic targets interleukin 6 inhibitors for autoimmune disorders so in case of autoimmune disorders we can target interleukin 6 okay tocilizumab is an example of a uh, drug that targets the interleukin 6 if inhibit interleukin 6 release then autoimmune response in the body can be suppressed autoimmune disorders can be suppressed interleukin 17 blockers used for psoriasis you can see the psoriasis this is a kind of a situation in psoriasis looks like an eczema but it's not eczema okay so in this case there is a drug that can block the interleukin 17 release which cause uh to reduce the symptoms related to psoriasis which is again autoimmune disorders diseases associations interleukin 4 and interleukin 13 related to asthma and allergy of our body okay because interleukin 4 is related to that okay next is interleukin 17 and interleukin 23 is also associated to the autoimmune diseases and diagnostics elevated interleukin 6 indicates sepsis so in your blood stream if there is more interleukin 6 found that indicates somewhere in the body as a systemic inflammation or sepsis okay so now let's conclude 
that interleukins are key cytokine are regulating the immune responses. So they are part of the cytokines that regulates the immune response, either activate the response or inhibit the response. Okay, there is a balance of pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cytokines. Pro-inflammatory cytokines enhances the response of uh, immune system and anti-inflammatory cytokines decreases the inflammatory response. Essential for pathogen defense, immune regulation and very essential for tissue repair as well because tissue fibrosis can also be done by these cytokines. And uh, dysregulation is linked to autoimmune disorders, allergic reaction and inflammatory diseases of our body. Okay, that concludes our understanding of interleukin. If you want to know details about cytokines, what are cytokines, what are chemokines, what's the difference between cytokines and chemokines and you want to know all this then watch my video on cytokines and chemokines there's a video for that too. If you like this video please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to get more videos like this in future. Thank you. Bye.